The low health inspection grade is found in Knoxville. There were more than half a dozen risk factor violations checked off in the report. The grade is a 70 at Shea Quivera's restaurant in Kingston Pike in Knoxville. That 70 is a passing score. A grade below 70 is considered failing. There has not yet been a follow-up inspection. The inspector checked off a number of temperature violations. For example, found in the warmer drawer was pork at 60 degrees, but 135 and above is the proper hot holding temperature to prevent potential foodborne illness. On the other hand, spinach dip being held in a cooling drawer was at 70 degrees, but 41 and below is the safe cool temperature to prevent someone from getting sick. The inspector found food stored on the floor in the walk-in cooler. And he writes, shelving over the uncovered food, it was dirty. There's more. In the kitchen, the inspector found the floors, walls, ceilings, and attached equipment dirty. He recommended a daily checklist of cleaning duties for the staff. The inspector watched an employee touching garnishes with his bare hands as he was preparing food. He should have been wearing gloves. Another kitchen worker was observed loading dirty dishes into the dishwasher, then without washing his hands and putting on gloves, he pulled clean dishes from the dishwasher. Shea Guevara's restaurant will be reinspected soon. In a follow-up from last week, the inspector returned to China Walk Buffet in Washington Pike in Knoxville. All of the original violations were checked, and last week's grade of 71 has been upgraded to a 95. No follow-up inspections are required at the top-scoring eateries, and here are the best grades of the week. In West Knoxville, Calhoun's Barbecue Barn Restaurant on Kingston Pike, 100. Salsarita's Fresh Cantina on Clinton Highway, 100. Also in Clinton Highway in North Knoxville, Tezekas Mediterranean Cafe, it too scores 100. The Waffle House in Powell on Emory Road is perfect. In Maryville, Isaacs on Lamar Alexander Parkway, 100. In North Knoxville, in the Halls community, Tokyo and Mandarin scores a 99. The McDonald's on Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown, 99. And Smokey's Cuban Cafe in Pigeon Forge, it too receives a 99. Restaurant health inspections are unannounced and they're conducted every six months. Follow-up inspections are required if a violation could lead to foodborne illness. That second inspection is generally done within 10 to 14 days. Don Dare covering Food for Thought. All right, if you would like to look over all of this week's health inspection scores for yourself, just go to the News tab on WATE.com.